Hey everyone, welcome back to the frozen battlefields of the Eastern Front. Today we're diving into another Graviteam tutorial, but before we get started, if you like military strategy, tactics, or doctrine, and seeing it applied to strategy games, this is definitely the channel for you, so make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the Patreon, because there's plenty of free after-action reports down there for you. Anyway, we recently polled the community, and they told me that one of their biggest considerations when they plan an assault or a defense is the terrain. I find myself agreeing with that. Um, thought but I mean there's a lot of considerations but obviously the terrain is one of the biggest we all need to consider so we have a small assaulting force that needs to cross this water crossing point right here we have an artillery unit right here that's going to drop smoke mortars as we cross this unit one thing we need to take into consideration and that's mainly what this video is about are these vehicles right here if we mount these trucks these trucks at no point in time will ever cross this water crossing point so if we did wanted to do a mounted assault, we would have had to position our units to a road that crosses this river. So as we plan this assault, there's a few considerations we need to take in because, right, this is the terrain. We have trucks. How do we want to use them? How do we want our units to get across this river? Do we even want to use the trucks? So one thing we can kind of do is we can grab these units and I'm going to show you how to force these units across the river while having a platoon in the back of this truck who's going to then find its way around the water and eventually show up late to the assault. However, that does preserve your units a little bit and creates kind of a fun little flank. Also, we're gonna talk about this other unit right here that's just going to have um, on the road travel and this unit's actually going to fall back completely because as long as this vehicle is with them and it has units mounted in it, it's going to force this unit to find a way around the map that isn't this river. So that's going to be extremely frustrating for new players because they want to mount their units. They want to bum rush across this river, but they keep trying. To, it's not going to work. So let's do this real quick so I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. So we're going to select this whole unit. As you can see, we have the vehicle selected, the whole platoon. We're going to say we want these units to mount. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to right click where we want them to go. We're going to right click fast move to bring it up. And as you can see, defaulted is vehicles by road. We are going to turn that off and we're going to left click this right here. So what's going to happen is units are still going to mount in this vehicle, but these platoons right here are still going to cross this river while this vehicle with units is going to find its own way across this river to eventually get to this point. And this is why terrain is a massive consideration everyone needs to factor in. Then you need to understand how the basic game mechanics of Gravitine are going to work and how it's going to force your units to move. So now let's grab this unit and we have everything selected as you can see down here on the bottom of the screen. If we come over here and we right click and we say units by road, and then we do that, left click one more time. This unit, no matter what movement we do, units are going to mount up and they're still going to go by road because this unit one, this vehicle, mostly dictates that movement for them. It's kind of strange how it works. I did a bunch of testing to kind of figure it out. So these units are still going to go fast move around the block and by road. So let's hit start. We're going to fast forward and we're going to watch this in action. All right, and just like I said, we have a fun little flank that'll show up at some point and we have this platoon that's still mounting up. Um, what's happening is we didn't have units by road. So these units are still going to fast move across. So if we pause right here and we click this unit right here. What's going on is we didn't right click. This wasn't selected as well, right? And we do that by road. Even though there's a road right here, like connecting these two, this small frozen area isn't considered a road. It's considering like terrain. So these units are going to immediately turn around and follow this truck. We're still waiting for our smoke mortars to also drop, which is, did we forget to task them? We did forget to task our smoke mortars. That is unfortunate for them.
So as you can see, these units are slowly turning themselves around, hanging out in this little area. These units are deciding to split. They didn't go all the way, but they did stop. Here come our first couple of smoke mortars, red. That's gonna provide us with some sort of cover. Our two trucks are attempting to navigate the terrain in the back line and we have a massive, massive firefight breaking out on the front. We have two units that are completely trapped out in the open that we need to get across this under smoke cover and into cover. So we're gonna adjust theirs to an assault and get them popping smoke. Same with these units right here. All right, the smoke's going to be sufficient cover and then we're going to drag these units over here. And we're going to continue to art we're going to adjust our artillery. We're going to turn this the smoke screen off. So click these units right here. Smoke's off. Then we're going to redraw our assault. And we're going to crush anyone in this general vicinity. Right, 88%. Our mortars are going to be dropping in this area. The smoke's still going to continue to provide at least cover on this left flank. There's a look, what looks to be a small little infantry force over here on this left-hand side. Our units are getting across the river. Smoke was mostly effective. Let's see, we haven't really taken too many casualties. We do have a vehicle destroyed on the back line back here, which is unfortunate. We're going to follow up with him. And that's one thing to consider. You can't put your vehicles too close to the battle because units will instantly bail and retreat. Mortars are going to begin to fall in this position, as you can see, and they're going to fall back and suppress all of these units that are on this hillside, which currently have a fantastic view of all our units slowly crossing this water crossing point, who have chosen to lay out in the open and take heavy fire. Our smoke cover is no longer present, but the, this assaulting unit did cover themselves. So we're still, we're still going to force this attack because that's what we need to do. It's an ambush. We either need to push through the assault or we need to smoke and provide cover fire. We have plenty of cover fire coming in. We have plenty of heavy, heavy weapons coming in. These units just need to do their part and get out of this area. We're going to continue to push this assault to get these units out of the wide open field. These units as well, they're going to continue to seek cover. That's perfectly fine, but these units are currently in the kill zone and we need to navigate this area quite carefully because we will begin taking a lot of casualties. Our mortars are preventing this, this platoon from continuing to push up as well as our machine guns. They are not going to be able to navigate this terrain unobstructed. As you can see, there is plenty of cover, but with heavy artillery shells and shrapnel falling on you, you're going to be more reluctant to making an assault. All right, we're told that building that it no longer needed to exist and we continue to hammer it with artillery shells. These units right here, this unit, is not something I'm overly concerned about because they are trapped out in the open and they do not have much cover. They also have several flanking units right here that are going to engage this commander. However, there is what looks to be a little bit of cover. Our units over here need to get further into this forest and we need to stay out of this road. Our units are slowly slowly pushing up, which is super beneficial for us. So this is a fantastic meeting engagement. These units over here look mostly dealt with, but we really need to. I would like to pull this unit off. It, I want to see this units. I would like to adjust fire and kind of get rid of them, but our machine guns are honestly dealing with this unit, keeping them successfully suppressed. As you can see, the casualties are beginning to mount up in this position. We have lots of smoke, lots of obstruction, lots of units slowly crossing this water crossing point. We are advancing through this ambush, which is exactly what we need to do with overwhelming firepower and overwhelming firepower support. Um, it does look like we did unfortunately lose two Soviets. That's not ideal. This also does look to be a much larger force. We need to secure this area right here. We need to keep the Germans or the opposing force in this area and not to advance across this open field. Our mortars are continuing to fall. We're probably going to do a slight adjustment to focus on this village right here. 
Our machine guns continue to light up the back line, which is perfect. It's slowing their assault, which is perfect for us. These units need to get out of here because there are mortars beginning to fall on their position. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to readjust for a smoke attack and maybe provide these units with a bit of reprieve. But they need to get out of the open. This is not good for them. Alright, that machine gun fire is doing a fantastic job. I'm not sure if these units are retreating or they're crawling, slowly working their way into the village. Lots of snow in here. Lots of suppressing fire. Looks like we did lose one commander, which is unfortunate. We do have a command unit right here, and we do have a foothold in here. Once we have this foothold in, this is a perfect tactic when invading urban areas. Is to get your foothold in, and then immediately begin ferrying troops across this point. Right? That's one of the biggest considerations we need to make is how, one, how we cross this you, this water, this terrain, and now how we're going to use this terrain to our advantage. We are we now have a foothold. With this foothold, we can ferry units in. We can continue to push the, so, the opposing force out, or we can pretty much draw a line, a little DMZ, demilitarized zone, right along this river, because this next crossing point is going to be one of our biggest challenges. Once we drive all of these units out of this town, like these units that continue to spill in one we outnumber them if we can hold these units off for a little longer we can extend our footprint all the way up to our next we could call this our next phase line right here because this would be one of our biggest considerations during this battle is what we're going to do once we have these units gone as you can see the the opposing force continues to um, come down this hill into this fortified position and cross this road right here unobstructed which is really going to make our life quite challenging. Crossing roads and rivers are one of the biggest... We lost the vehicle. One of the biggest challenges any command is going to face. We are we do continue to mount casualties, which is unfortunate. And this does look like a much larger force than we have. There's also units over here. And our machine guns are still slowing their reinforcements down, which is fantastic for us. We just need to maintain that awareness. As you can see, we have two units coming up. Alright, so let's readjust mortar fire. These units need to get out of that water now, my dudes. You're going to take heavy artillery fire and we do not have eyes on. We do not have counter battery up. Alright, so let's shut this down. Let's isolate this little assault right here. And just adjust. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, is that a smoke? Our unit's continuing to get heavy fire. If we do not, we need to press through this. We need to continue this assault. We lost one unit right here. We are basically... They, why are they dropping smokes on us? They basically identified us. We should pull back from this assault and just counter batter. I don't even think we're going to be able to. That's a massive artillery strike. They're smoking our position for some reason. At least there's smokes. I mean, our our people are going to suffer heavy, uh, lots of burns. All right, our mortar fire is coming in. No more cover fire for them. Still, we're not mounting a lot of casualties. We'll thank them for the smoke cover they've given us. That's going to allow our units to continue to cross the river. They're still, we're still pushing back this main assault right here. I don't like how far this commander is extending. Hopefully, he eliminates that unit right there. Ideally, I would like him to take out that commander. I would like these units to take out this commander as well. I don't want to see this commander on this planet anymore. Unfortunately, he's just getting grenaded right there. He's in an absolutely terrible location. Um, God be with him. He. That was a terrible, terrible decision. There are three units right here that just threw fantastic grenades. And now we have a retreat coming in from that unit because of that mistake that we made. Alright, it looks like we're beginning to get outnumbered. This assault may be a bit slowed down. Ideally, I would, I don't really want to lose this foothold, but we're losing a lot, a lot of cover. Our troops continue to work their way across. Most of our force is across this water crossing point. The second platoon is suffering a significant amount of casualties. I'm not quite sure if they're going to be combat effective. Their experience is regular, they're normal, and their speed's one. 
we really, really, how's our mortars doing? Looks like they're out of ammo. Let's see if we can get another shell to come in. Because without this mortar fire, we're pretty much doomed. Let's see what we can do. I don't see these units being out of ammo, so I'm not quite sure why we're not dropping mortars quite yet. Let's see if we can get a, another couple rounds in and then speed up a little bit, see if we can extend to our next phase of combat. Fast forward. Lots of suppressing fire. There it is. Here comes some mortars. Just dropped a massive one right there. Fantastic front lines forming right here. We just need to push these units a bit further out of this area, and it's pretty much ours. These units continue to pour down in this machine gun fire. Our machine guns are doing an absolutely fantastic job suppressing that assault. And just like that, I think we've successfully secured at least this is our, our, pretty, our foothold right here. I'm quite certain that the units have suffered. It looks also looks like these units are either pulling in or falling back. Let's take a look. This commander looks to be shared, so I, I think this battle's pretty much end over. We're just going to draw out time to eventually force their surrender. We do have some small... I may adjust that mortar fire to suppress this little column that's forming right here that are continuing to pour down into this village. But as they come down, they're going to be destroyed. It looks like we have two units who have made it up quite up past the second phase, crossing this river and outside. So there's definitely a... This area has definitely been secured by us. We just need to slowly grind our way up to this next point. So we're going to continue to do that. We're going to assault. And assault. Oh, we need to adjust this mortifier. Thank God we heard that. Just like that. Fast forward a bit. These units need to get out of this area. Oh, that was a... Perfect mortar strike by them. Oh my lord. Alright, this is comes to the last little bit of fight. Oh man, we have this left flank forming. But our machine guns are really getting to them. They just took out... That was a successful mortar. We need to get out of the open and continue to push through. Let's fast forward, see if we can get this foothold. If not, we're going to definitely call for a retreat. They're still hammering us. Like, look at that. This is not a good assault for us. They're just going to, one, pin us down. I think we're going to call for a retreat right here. We're going to hit escape. We're going to select retreat. We're going to hit enter to resume. Oh, I hit restart. My bad. Peace out, guys. <laughs>